CPU squad! So today we're talking about Python lists. I'm gonna show you how to create a list. It's very, very easy, trust me. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So before we get started, what's a list? The list is basically a list, like you have a grocery list, for example, right? So you have a, um, a group of things that you want to interact with in your script. So for example, let's say there's a list of options based on these options your program will do different things so i think it's better to show it than to actually to speak about it so let's actually create a list right now so i'm going to create my list and i'm going to define what it is in these brackets i'm going to create three entries in here and each entry is going to be a string so i'm going to put my quotes in there and double quote and there we go so actually for three items we don't need three quotes or commas rather the commas to separate each one right so we only need two all right so let's add some actual values in here so let's say mega oh, mega new mega underscore new one of my top subscribers shout out to mega noob really appreciate the support I urge every single one of you guys to join the notification squad by clicking on that bell icon after you subscribe to so get notified and don't miss videos. So MJ Shahid. All right. And let's just say CPU squad t shirts are coming out. All right. So there you go. So there is my list. So now when I hit enter, no errors. Let's actually type in my list and see what happens. So there you see the actual list that we just created. It's nice and easy, nice and simple. Those of you guys on mobile devices, let you guys get a good look at that. So I basically did my list, right? I could have named it anything I wanted to. I, I chose to name it my list, right? Then I said equals, and then I did uh, square brackets. Inside of the square brackets, I put the values of my list or, or the items. So these are strings, so I put them in quotes here and I separate each item by a comma. All right, so these are all the items. And then there's the final item ending on the lower line, I believe. Yep, and then that's it. So now when I call my list, you see all the entries in there. So now let me show you something else. How do we refer to a specific item in the list? So what I can do is I can print, of course, my list. Now who can tell me what's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that command? I want to print the actual contents of the list. Well, uh, besides the typo, what's wrong with that? All right. Now, remember the significance. Always remember. I keep telling you guys, remember the significance of the quotes. This is not a string. This is a variable, a variable that refers to my actual list. So let's get that out of there. Otherwise, it's just going to print literally what I put there. So now we print my list. Now it actually prints out the actual list. All the contents of my list actually show up. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to actually print out a certain uh, item, a specific item in the list. So what I'll do is let's do print and let's do my list and close it. But then let's add something else. Let's add the index entry, right? Index entries you put in square brackets. Now, always remember the way lists work in Python is numerically first item is going to be zero. So mega noob is zero. Right? Even though he's not a zero, you're not a zero, you're number one. All right. Um, MJ Shahid would be one, and then CPU Squad would be two. Right? So always remember the numbers start with zero for lists on Python. So if we want to print Mega Noob, who knows what number I should put in here? Mega Noob, what number is representing Mega Noob? Remember, the list is automatically indexed numerically, again, starting with zero. So uh, Mega Noob would be zero right because he's the first one in the list so i print that as you can see it actually printed out mega new now ain't that awesome so now if i want to print out somebody else same thing i can just enter uh one to print out the second entry in the list let's get to, so you guys can see this a little bit better and there you go so it prints out the second entry in the list mj shaheed i hope i'm spelling the name correctly i probably messed it up i apologize i'm doing this on the fly here no script just doing it um, and that's the basics of Python lists. Now, I want to show you some other really cool things. Stay tuned.
So now I wanna, I wanna, let's add variables to the mix. So here is my list as a reminder, which I created before, but now let's do a series of variables. So let's do um, awesome, awesome one equals, and I'll put a string in there. I'll say mega noob. Let's put that underscore in there. And that's how he does it, comma, comma. All right, so then we'll put another value, and actually we don't need quotes, actually. Actually, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm mixing up things. What am I doing? I'm mixing up a list and a variable. Um, yeah, so awesome one is intended to be a variable that contains the string mega new. So that was correct. I don't know why I just started doing that. I was crazy. All right, so let's do awesome one uh, number two. I don't know why I'm spelling out the numbers, but that's all good. Let's say... MJ Shahid. All right. And let's say awesome one number three. Make sure you guys can see that. So let's say that MJ Shahid is awesome one number three. All right. So there we there it is. We set these three variables. All right, so now what we're going to do differently now is we want to see what happens if we do my second list equals square brackets. And then we're not going to do this, right? We're not doing strings. We want to do variables. We're going to refer to variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our still we're going to do our commas, of course, always chasing those commas. Um, so now we're going to refer to the variable. So awesome. All right. So here we go now. now. I want you to notice something. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Awesome one is not defined. Okay. So let's make sure we have awesome one defined. I actually have to reset the terminal. So that's probably what happened. So let's say awesome one is mega noob. Let's do them again just in case. Make sure they're all active. I don't want no problems. All right, so let's look for three. Awesome one, three. So there it is, the setting of the variables. So they're all set. Awesome one, awesome two, awesome three. These are all components of our list. My second list. Uh, my second list is not defined. Okay, so we need to redefine my second list again. When I reset the term, I must have lost that. So now we have it defined. So now when I do my second list, now you can see the contents. Now I want you to notice what it actually does. So if you pay attention, you will see that it actually basically evaluated my variable. So it's actually showing you, like you notice, in my second list, right? I refer to the variable names, right? Awesome one, awesome three. But when I call the list it shows you what those variables are referring to not the actual variables themselves right as it should so just like before if i want to do a print command this terminal is killing me now i can't see what i'm typing there we go all right so if i go with a print command and i do my second list and i do in brackets uh, two. Now we can see MJ Shahid comes out. If I do it again, wow, this terminal is crazy. If I do that again, we can see I can refer to zero, my list, and zero. We see Mega Noob comes out. If I put one in there, you can see MJ Shahid comes out. All right. So, pretty simple. Now, one last thing I want to do is show you something really cool. Something else really cool. But wait, there's more. You're going to be amazed at how easy. So, what we can do is we can actually make sure I'm on the right screen here. All right. So, we can do my list. And again, you guys can't see what I'm typing in. This terminal is driving me nuts. My, my second list second list dot sort and we can do it like that okay that terminal wasn't really working too good for us so 
I'm using the Python idle IDE and as you can see I created a new, new list with A, C and B so letters are out of order so now I can just do a my list dot sort parentheses like that now this alone is not going to give you anything if I do uh, save and run you can see there's no results doesn't output anything but if I try to print my list and I well this should be in parentheses just do like that now let's see what happens so F5 save and boom ABC so letters are in correct order now if we go back and I comment this out and now run it you can see it's back out of order so the sorting of it was happening by me using this right here the my list dot sort so you add a dot sort to your list name and then you put parentheses in Python 3 and that's how you can sort it now there are ways that you can change values in a list so let's say for example if I wanted to let's see so let's say my list like that and let's do zero equals let's put a string in there let's say new value can I do that will that work let's find out so we did that now let's go ahead and run it and we can see it did not work so let's go back and see what happened wrong so I did my list ACB uh, then I printed the list oh I didn't print the list after <laughs> it'd be nice if you printed it again hello hello okay so let's go ahead and run this run that there you go we've actually changed a value of one of the items in the list now I've showed you how to sort I showed you how to change the values now what I want you guys to figure out what your homework is today and I want you to find out how you can print the maximum value from a list so you have a bunch of numbers I want to print the maximum number the highest number your homework is to figure that out and comment below and let me know what you guys found and now as is our tradition here in the CPU squad I'm gonna sing a song all right song worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear sing sing a song okay so i sang a song or a piece of a song and now you're gonna click on that like button smash the likes i love those likes you're gonna subscribe if you're new to the cpu channel and you're gonna click on that bell icon so you actually get notified why subscribe if you're not going to click on the bell? If you're not going to click on the bell, then there's no point. Anyway, this is CPU Squad signing out. <laughs> you can go now. The video's over. I know you enjoyed the video, but it's over. So, bye.